Hello everybody, Sir Raz here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another cast. Today we're going to be watching uh, Sen, uh, aka soft, well, Softball, aka Sen here, versus uh, QXC. Both these guys are very, very good players. Uh, Sen is a Taiwanese, I guess, master, or whatever you want to call him. He's just a great Zerg player. Um, he's done really well in a number of tournaments. Uh, he's qualified for a GSL, I think, multiple times. and I mean, he's just a really, really solid uh, Taiwanese Zerg player, and he's also a member of um, MSI Fanatic team, I believe. And QXC, a member of Team Root, very very strong player as well. Uh, has had a pretty good showing in the American scene. Definitely getting you know I think into the top 16 in a lot of tournaments, top eight even a little farther, um, especially in a lot of the smaller tournaments. And just a very very solid solid Terran player. And probably known for his TVZ, um, I think that is what he would say is his best matchup. He plays a very, very micro-intensive style um, against Zerg. He does a lot of drops, a lot of stuff, uh, like a lot of dropship control, Thor drops, harassment, banshees, stuff like that, hellions. Um, and he does that while playing like a macro game, so it can be very impressive to watch. I know I've seen... A number of very very um, great well just amazing replays from QXC on maps like Lost Temple and stuff against Zerg so QXC just very very strong player as well and we'll have to see which one of these two guys does manage to take this game we have Sen here going for the pretty standard hatch first so like a 15 hatch surprise he hasn't pooled yet he does know they're not well it's a little risky. Um, he knows they're not in the close air positions. Could be in the close uh, ground positions, and that could be kind of risky not to pool till like, 17 here. But looks like, I mean, he's going to be fine. They are in the cross position, so that's going to work out well for him. Also getting a pretty early gas. So I expect to see some sort of, probably speed. Speed has become pretty standard in this matchup. Speedlings is what I'm uh, referring to. Allows your Zerglings to run a lot faster. And that just is a very strong unit to deal with. A lot of the early um, harass and pressure that a Terran player can put out on a Zerg. Speedlings are just infinitely more effective against uh, groups of Marines. They do even pretty well against stuff like um, early Hellion attacks. Stuff like that. Especially if you have like a spine crawler or two. And yeah, he is throwing down that one spine crawler. So this is basically about as standard as you get in this matchup. You throw down... Um, like an early spine crawler at your expansion, get a couple lings out, uh, get your queens up, and then start droning like crazy. QXC in the meantime, doing a two racks opening, probably just going to apply a little bit of pressure, does have this bunker going out, way out of range. Um, this is interesting, I think he's going to use it as more of a, um, like a fallback zone, so what we'll see happen here is he'll try and attack here, but he's going to see this spine crawler. And probably just retreat. He might come around this side a little bit. And a poor Overlord did get sniped there. I did not see where that happened. But that's uh, interesting to note. That always sucks to lose your Overlords. It was the one that was scouting in this direction towards the base. And that actually leaves Softball or Sen in a kind of precarious situation. Um, you do not want to get supply blocked when you have Marines knocking on your front door. But, <clears throat> I mean, he should be fine. Looks like he's actually opting for a counterattack of his own. This is kind of risky. These Marines are getting... You know, are pretty close. Um, they could sneak around here and try and get into the main. Maybe do a little bit of damage. They could just, or just run by the spine crawler this way. But some more lings are out. And that's going to put an end to any run by possibilities. Though QXC slowly but surely building an, um, more bunkers. I think he might be going for some sort of contain here. These lings knocking on the doorstep of QXC. Going to... Uh, kill some SCVs here. QXC will probably just turn back around. Gonna get that mule. Um, QXC taking all his SCVs though and going to kill these lings. In the meantime, some Marines coming around the back here. Let's we'll see what they do. They will be able to stop mining at least for a little while. Bunch of speedlings though. Oh, pretty nice surround there by Sen. Going to mop this up without too much trouble. More Marines on the way though. And it's gonna be hard for Sen to break out uh, completely quite yet. Believe it or not, Zerglings are not good against bunker or units in bunkers. 
back in the base of QXC, getting ready to expand. Has a couple of Marines um, here as well. Completely sealed off his ramp at this point. Sen just checking for uh, Marines at the Watchtower. Very smart play. And Sen just continued to drone up. Not too worried about anything here. Um, the Spinecrawler moved to a great position to deal with this uh, bunker. QXC thinking about trying to take advantage of that though. Um, sneaking around in here, trying to get into the main, but changing his mind, retreating back to the bunker. These lings at the main base of QXC aren't going to do anything. This is a tight wall off. I mean, if they try and attack anywhere, it's just suicide basically at this point. So this is kind of a standoff. Not really, um, I mean, the aggression from QXC is pretty much done here, but just having this on his doorstep is probably just kind of frustrating for Sen. I mean, it might force him to build a few more units than he actually wants to. Um, just kind of keep him a make him a little uneasy. And Sen actually going for a third here, looks like. Sen going for a third, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Getting kind of high on the resource count. Looking at the income tab, sent ahead in the worker count, 40 to 32. No surprise. QXC lost a little bit of mining there. Um, do that link counterattack. I didn't really check what he lost. So probably a SCV or two. And then also Sen's been droning really well. Did not overcommit to um, did not overcommit to trying to stop this early aggression here. And it worked out really well for him. He just built what he needed and then just continued to pump drones. So his economy is in great shape because of it. And I love this. The Ling's getting ready to attack the Marines as soon as that uh, bunker does go down. And so all these Marines are going to die. And now, I'd say Sen in the more advantageous position at this point. He has his third on the way. QXC only on two base. Um, QXC's tech is pretty low at this point. Just finally starting to get that starport out. And Sen is just... Great position economically, great position all around. Looks like he's going to go for some sort of Baneling attack. Look at all these Banelings being morphed. That is a lot of Banelings. 15 Banelings. He's probably just going to run in here, see if he can do, um, well, some, probably just some economic damage and kill this force of QXC um, at the same time with these Banelings and Speedlings. And we'll have to see how that works out for him. QXC doing a counterattack of his own. This could be kind of a... Uh, <laughs> A funny situation as these two armies will probably not confront each other. And we'll have to see how that works. Oh, so QXC did kill that Ling at the Watchtower, and Sen does see that. So it looks like Sen is going to try and defend. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll have to see what he does with these Banelings. Banelings without speed, not on creep, can be kind of risky as a big uh, marine ball like this can deal with it pretty easily as they're very very slow and looks like is QXC actually gonna get these yeah he is oh but he does not have the control to effectively um, you know split his units to deal with these banelings and they just decimated his force so QXC usually has much uh, better control than that kind of faltered there for a second not really sure why his uh, marine control wasn't quite up to snuff there but it still wasn't too bad I mean looking at the unit lost tab QXC has lost more uh, but not too much more and he's definitely you know not out of the game yet looking at the income tab QXC definitely caught up 50 to 55 57 just kidding big uh, bunch of drones being morphed by Sen there giving him the economic lead once again Banelings kinda moving in Going to try and go for the SCV line. SCV is being pulled in time. Maybe. Oh, no. This could be quite devastating. Only losing a couple SCVs there, though. Not a big deal. And send 66 workers. Holy poop pandas. <laughs> I mean, that is so many workers. He's basically almost at, like, all the workers he needs for the game. Uh, most players like to stop at about 70. So Sen's almost there. And at the 12-minute mark, that's pretty good. I mean, he is taking this fourth as well, the gold base, and also making sure we don't see a third being taken by QXC. QXC is starting to move out, though. Sen does not have all that uh, much. Only a handful of Zerglings at this point. And if QXC moves out, this attack could be kind of hard to stop. We'll have to see uh, if Sen can muster the forces he needs in time. I think this expansion is probably going to go down. And, oh, it's actually kind of finishing at a terrible time. He would have, uh, if this attack would have been just a touch or a hair sooner, I guess I should say. Um, 
QXC or Sen would have been able to cancel that, so he's gonna lose this expansion for sure. And now he's just kind of he needs to build up forces to deal with this. Has a ton of lings, some banelings, and infestors on the way. Should be able to deal with it uh, pretty handily. Banelings plus infestors, very very strong against Bio, believe it or not. What was that? He's thinking about doing or making an overseer, but changing his mind. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe that was a misclick or something. And where are these infestors? Are they out yet? He really needs the infestors. I don't know if he has uh, Baneling Speed yet. So he needs either infestors or Baneling Speed to effectively deal with this. Looks like he's going to go for it. Tons of Lings getting in, getting a nice surround here. And all the Banelings just moving in, cleaning up the forces of QXC once again. Great, great Baneling control from Sen here. He doesn't even have speed. And he's able to just use his Speedlings very effectively to kind of block the forces of QXC from running away and then killing them with Banelings. So, very, very nice play by Sen so far. But QXC in the meantime did get up his third. This Planetary Fortress is almost done, so it's going to be very hard to break. And that's very good for QXC. Being equal base with a Zerg is just a great position to be in. He has a pretty large Bioforce still. Are, are even starting to get some tanks. Is the uh, little brain fart there. And once he gets these tanks, he'll be in a very, very fortified position here. Going to kill uh, this overlord, this bad-mannered overlord, pooping all over the command center. <laughs> and we might just see a um, planetary fortress snipe here. I and mean, that's a lot of banelings. <laughs> so many banelings. All right, yeah, so that's a lot of banelings. And, yeah, I think we might just see a planetary fortress snipe. Just That's just where you take all your banelings, run them into the planetary fortress, and kill it and call it a day. So, is that... Yeah, it looks like that's what's going to happen. Very nice control, allowing the Rotate to kind of tank. And there goes the Planetary Fortress. Nice Fungal Gross on this bio as well. Sen looks like he's going to just clean this force up. Oh, but look at all these reinforcements from QXC. And QXC will definitely fend this off. But once again, he's going to have to build another Command Center. That's going to be... It's kind of annoying. Um, you know, really limits... Limits his economy here, and also just looking at the worker count, 43 to 68, set in a very, very commanding economic lead here, mainly just to the fact that a lot of SCVs were killed uh, at, during this bunker, or this uh, planetary fortress snipe. QXC trying to do a little bit of drop action, not really working out though. The uh, lings were definitely just sitting underneath that medvac, killed a marine, and <laughs> that was the end of that. QXC, though, stopping the gold once again. Very, very nice. Ton of lings here. Lings are not that great, though, by themselves. Though this tank might actually be helping the lings a little bit more than it is the marines. Now it looks like the marines are going to clean that up very, very easily. Uh, once you get to a bio ball of a certain size, lings become a lot less effective against it. And that's something to remember. Looking at the unit loss tab, QXC is in the lead now. Well, he's lost less, so he's it's advantageous, or it's in QXC's favor, I guess I should say. Sen going kind of crazy in the upgrades, getting level 2 of everything. Also getting a greater spire, so we're probably going to see some Broodlords, some Corruptors are on the way. Broodlords, very, very strong units against Terran. Until the Viking comes out, that is. And then also we have this Hydra Den. It's very interesting. You don't see Hydras. Oh, excuse me. Hydras being built all that often um, in this matchup. But they might be okay. Um, they did nerf tanks a while back. And I really haven't seen too many players explore the um, possibilities of Hydras in this matchup. And because tanks do a lot less damage to them now, they might be more viable than um, a lot of people actually realize. So we'll have to see if that is the case. The nasty Broodlord Hydra combo could be very good. Hydras to deal with the air, uh, Broodlords to kill everything else. Because that's what Broodlords do, kill everything else. QXC, this time opting to go for the gold. I like this choice quite a bit. Um, it's had a lot of trouble defending this base here. And going for the gold might make it a little easy, easier for him to defend. You have this barracks is kind of chilling over here, gonna get taken out by Hydras. Sen going for a third and fourth expansion, so fourth and fifth base here. Look at this nice Overlord placement. 
spotting for any sort of drops that could occur. Doing a little counterattack of his own. Going to get some SCVs here. Every little bit helps. Well, helps quite a bit, actually. As the SCV count is looking pretty low uh, from QXC. So Sen just playing a very, very solid um, econ game here. Doing just a ton of damage to QXC's economy at all times. Just not letting him rebuild it up to the numbers that QXC needs to sustain this uh, long game. Looks like we have Ultras on the way as well, so Sen getting a little bit of everything. Broodlord is very hard to deal with without, this, uh, without any anti-air. QXC though might just try and drop with uh, counter drop here, and that might allow him to do some damage. Yeah, looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. But all these forces, all these Banelings going to take out uh, this planetary fortress as well, going for those Banelings snipes. It's going to be kind of risky, but it's really limiting the econ of QXC. I mean, he's basically out of mining bases at this point. He's got a little bit left of this guy, but his harvester count, very low. And this is making it very hard for QXC to sustain the war effort. In the meantime, though, he did quite a bit of damage um, with this counter drop, killing all the workers. But looks like Sen's just superior macro hero just allowed him to clean it up. I mean, he does get that uh, Nexa, or the hatchery. Which is very, very good, but it's not as limiting or as destructive as killing a uh, command center was for QXC. If you look at, you know, what QXC has, he has almost no mining bases now. Um, and we can check the income tab, yeah, it's just night and day here. <laughs> almost a thousand to like 60, so. Uh, QXC really needs another base, way more than Sen does. Yeah, Sen lost a couple bases around here. But he's just not as limited. He still has this third up and running. His uh, naturals looking pretty decent as well. And he has a much larger, larger uh, worker harvester count. So once again, trying to take that gold. Looks like he's going to go for an ex another expansion over here as well. To see which uh, place he decides to take. But yeah, just kind of expanding. Um, he, I mean, Sen eventually does need another base here. It's going to be really hard for him to break uh, these tanks without a huge economic lead. Vikings out as well. This should stop any Broodlords, but I think the Broodlords are kind of a thing of the past. And all these Marines um, getting in position to kind of block for the tanks, and this force of Sen is going to go down. Tanks very strong against all ground units in the Zerg arsenal. And all these Hydras are going to die as well, as they just cannot really retreat. Um, at any sort of speed when they're off a creep, so I mean, these forces should be able to pick them all off. So that battle went really well for QXC. He needs more battles like that to keep him in the game. Um, he needs to, actually doing a great job with these Vikings as well, needs to send them around, um, pick off overlords, do as much you know damage as he can with them. And I actually really like this play by QXC. I mean, what he's doing here is he just built a handful of Vikings, right? And that's all he needed to kind of make sense switch from Broodlords, and he did not overcommit. That is a huge mistake you see players doing all the time. They overcommit to Vikings when they see Broodlords, and then the Zerg player just switches to ground units, and they just get overrun. So, uh, very, very nice by QXC. QXC doing a counterattack of his own, going to take out this gold. Very easy to do with this watchtower here. It's really hard to hold this gold against tank, or against tanks. So Infestor Goo stopping the Vikings there, doing a little bit of damage. Vikings just continuing their rampage. What are we going to see here? A counterattack? Or is uh, Sen going to break this? Or is he just going to let his expansion fall? Look oh, excuse me. A little bit of a link counterattack. Going to get cleaned up very quickly, though. And wow, this expansion is going to go down for Sen. And this is Sen starting to actually start to, or starting to hurt on expansions as well. QXC could turn this around and be a great, great uh, comeback for QXC. He's definitely behind most of the game. But this force is looking really scary. I mean, this is a very sizable force compared to the force of Sen. Looking at the units lost. Big difference. Oh, losing a medvac. Full medvac there. That definitely hurts. QXC, though, really turning this around. 36 workers to 40. Um... I'm really surprised QXC is still in this game. 
<laughs> this will be just an epic, epic turnaround. Like, <laughs> he was so far behind, I honestly did not think he stood a chance. But looks like he's in a great position here. This army is trapped, needs to go down this ramp, and it's just going to get obliterated by these tanks. Wow, look at this. These tanks don't even stand a chance. Or these, uh, the Zerg army doesn't even stand a chance against these tanks. Oh, <laughs> and QXC. QXC turning this game around. Epic, epic comeback, guys. I don't think you understand how good that comeback was. QXC was down to, like, 20 workers to 60 and managed to turn it around. Sen just not... Well, he... He just threw away a lot of his forces um, in engagements that were not beneficial to him. And QXC just had great positioning, great patience. Um, did not overcommit to Vikings. I mean, just, just had some great play here by QXC to turn this game around. That was a really, really freaking sweet game. I'm, I'm just in awe, almost, that QXC managed to win that. And... It's not that you don't see comebacks all that often, it's just you rarely see them at this level. Like, and that was a comeback. Definitely a comeback by QXC. And look at this, a nice grenade exploding. So that's what grenades look like when they explode. Just so you guys know. <laughs> Apparently they look like Psy Storms. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy that game. Um, I know I really did. I was, <laughs> I'm still kind of in awe of uh, QXC's play. It was really good. This is a one of the best... Uh, comebacks I've seen in a long time and yeah with that that's uh, just saying I'll see you later